on Channel 9 tonight, a mother in Mooresville says her daughter went on a school trip last week and then never came back home. School leaders admit that they made a mistake and they released the woman's daughter to someone that she never approved. Now she's working with the police to try to get her child back. I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, who did she leave with? Why did she come back with the school? You know, I'm, I'm just thinking the worst. I mean, you know, with all the human trafficking going on. Channel 9's Tina Terry is live for us in Mooresville tonight near Langtree Charter Academy, where school officials have now launched an investigation. Tina. Well, yes, Erica, a spokesperson for the school here says it appears that its pickup policy was not followed in this situation. That has left that mother fighting to get her daughter back. I mean, I was freaking out. I mean, I was calling around. I mean, I'm like, okay, you know, where could she be? You know, she didn't come back with the carpool. Latoya Wardlow's 14 year old daughter Yasmin is a cheerleader at Langtree Charter Academy. She says Yasmin traveled with the school to an away game in Lincoln County Thursday and never came back. When a parent communicated that possibly the coach had let Coach Baker had let my daughter go with her grandmother. That's what was communicated. And, you know, and I'm like, well, basically, why? why? Because you know, she's not on a contact. The next day she called the school resource officer. She says he confirmed a coach allowed Yasmin to leave school with her paternal grandmother, a person she never authorized to pick her up. The grandmother hadn't called me and got permission to um, take my daughter. Um, coach Baker didn't call me to get consent to even release my daughter. A spokesperson for the school told me written directions from a custodial parent are required to release a child to another person in a situation like this. She said our initial investigation appears that this did not happen correctly. So we are currently determining if this process was communicated to the staff properly. Wardlow says it took her three days to learn her daughter is now with her dad and she says she hasn't been back to school. Now she's working with police to get her back. I don't want this to happen to another family. They just need to take those measures, you know what I mean, to make sure children are leaving with the right people. Yeah, and the school here says it plans to take appropriate action after this investigation wraps up to ensure the safety of everyone here. Back to you, Erica. I know that mother was just worried sick until she found out at least where her daughter is or who she's with. Hopefully she's back home soon. Thank you, Tina.